Royal favourite Kate's very special perk with Queen Kate Duchess of Cambridge has free reign over the Queen's stunning jewellery collection. A royal expert has claimed the Duchess of Cambridge is often pictured wearing some of the Queen's glittering jewels including tiaras, necklaces, brooches and earrings and Katie Nicholl has revealed why Kate is able to borrow so many of the expensive items. The Queen is the only person who can give permission for another member of the royal family to wear any of her jewellery but the Duchess is allowed free reign over the formidable array of jewellery the royal author has claimed. Miss Nicholl said this is partly because Kate befriended the Queen's personal dresser Angela Kelly. The royal expert told Grazia Kate gets a pick of the jewel for big occasions and the Queen is happy to open up her jewellery box. Kate has been clever to befriend Angela Kelly who is in charge of the Queen's personal jewellery collection and oversees the loans. Generally Kate is allowed to borrow whatever she fancies. Kate appears to be particularly fond of one item from the Queen's jewellery collection, the Cambridge Lover's Knot Tiara. The glittering tiara is encrusted with diamonds and complete with a number of large pearls. It was first made for Queen Mary, Queen Elizabeth's grandmother, in 1914 by the House of Girard and remains in Her Majesty's personal collection. According to the court jeweller, when Queen Mary commissioned the piece, she sacrificed a tiara from her own jewellery collection, the Ladies of England tiara, to make it. The lover's knot was also a firm favourite of the late Princess Diana, who often wear it to royal events. Kate has been spotted wearing the Queen's fan brooch on a number of occasions. The monarch was given the silver brooch on her coronation world tour in 1953 by a New Zealand women's group. The Duchess has also been seen wearing the Queen's large teardrop earring, which feature a line of four diamonds framed by a cluster of round diamonds. The Queen wore the stunning earrings for the state opening of Parliament in 2012, and Kate was pictured wearing them at the NATO reception at Buckingham Palace last December. Kate has also worn the gems on other occasions, including at the Place to Be Awards in 2016, a gala at Kensington Palace in 2017 and while on tour in Norway and Sweden. But Kate doesn't have exclusive access to the Queen's jewellery collection, as other female royals have seen to wear some of the stunning items. It is tradition that royal bridges get to choose one of the Queen's tiara to wear on the wedding day. Kate opted for the Cartier hollow tiara, complete with 739 brilliant diamonds and 149 Burton diamonds, a piece originally gifted by King George VI to Queen Mother who then passed it down to Queen Elizabeth II on her 18th birthday. Meghan Markle, Kate's sister-in-law, wore the 1932 Queen Mary diamond Bindu tiara. It features a stunning florid-shaped suspended brooch in the center and 11 intricate glittering sections in the bandeau. Princess Eugene chose the gravel emerald Hushnik piece and it is not yet known what item Princess Patrice will choose.